Back to the ground. This time it's Martin. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Now they run with Sims. And he's going to go backward. They get him behind the line. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Here's Brian Anger now as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Taken for now on the return. Oh, no, the ball is loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. Here comes Jimmy Garoppolo now to lead his offense back out there. So, Charles, there are the numbers. What's happened here? Defensive adjustments that's caused him to sort of fall off a bit? I think so. That has to happen. You've got to make some changes because in the first half, they were pretty effective. But the second part is sometimes when you're doing really well, you get off your game a little bit. You get off the gas a little. You're like, okay, we've got this thing. And that's not necessarily the case. Maybe right now, someone just needs to tell a joke in the huddle, loosen things up, and get their big guy going again. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 14 yards is the pickup there to New England first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Garoppolo hustling him back to the line now. Garoppolo to throw on second down. Goes underneath here to White. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Clock ticking under 50 seconds now. He spikes it. New England on third down. They've hit at 50%. Three of six to this point. This will be third and 15. Garoppolo again. He's got a man. It's Mitchell. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. And he just clocked it. But the clock wasn't even moving. Well, that's one you don't see very often. A wasted down. to throw once more. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Brent Grimes. And now running right through it. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. A handoff to start the drive to Sims. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left.
And the offense lining up first and ten. Winston gives to the tailback, Martin. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And again, worth pointing out, we are in uncharted waters here. A Super Bowl game never gone to overtime, but here we are with a title on the line. And one thing I know that we share, we come at things from an optimistic view. So I certainly hope that this game gets decided by someone being a hero, making a big play, as opposed to someone being a goat and really making the wrong one. Absolutely. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have won the Super Bowl, and they will hoist the Lombardi Trophy to cap an amazing season. For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi Trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports. I don't know how there can be. The, the, the journey to get to this game is incredible. And then to finally break through and win it when all eyes are on this game alone because there's nothing else going on, that's just got to be absolutely amazing. That The task, incredible. But the accomplishment, forever. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.